here are some DIY power strips that I made. So I, I want to try, I want to see if it's really affecting the sound quality that gets to our sounds like this. If we use what? If we use a different power strip. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you that I bought a new power strip that I got for about I don't know. So just I'll just open this. Just open this, okay? So it's in a it's in a paper bag. And here is the power strip that I bought. So what we're gonna do is I'll give you checking out if it really affects our sound. So as you can see, it's a voltage surge protector with line noise filter. Electronic equipment and appliances need protection from damaging voltage surges. As you can see, it uses a royal cord and the neon switch and push to reset. Okay. And uh, Dribble steel housing, 10 amp to be triple parallel. All that with grounding. Caution then it's all near water, yes. So it's not a surge suppressor nor a lightning arrester. And we not And this voltage surges, oh my god. So we should be mindful of that. Generation capability. Well, okay, it's high created by equipment. Searching static or which is it of the source of electronic pollution, this power surges. The six hours short twist is no. This loss of memory for computers and programmable lines. Oh well, that's very dangerous. Without protection, this multi charge will shorten the life of your viable, valuable equipment. As you can see this. It has. As you can see, just 70 joules. What second peak current is 6,000 amps. Three seconds was maximum. So let's try to see this thing and. Let's see. So just move it. Okay. It looks very durable. Banter the line. Do not open. Yep. Quite quality. It's pure metal. When wow, it's really a royal cord. Just turn it off in the reset line meter. So first thing that I should do is I would try to testing test my sounds without I have to try to test my sounds without a line regulator so let's see if it will create a clicking sound when we turn on the electric fans so let me pause this for a while so I'll gonna be checking my sounds so I'll be turning it on and so you could hear the clicking sounds from turning on and off your electric fan so I'll be turning on my Power amp. And here we go. So it the relay clicked and we'll see. So I'll just make it half volume so that it would not kill my speakers due to the sound that it creates when turning off an appliances. Where the socket it is connected, it is like it's affecting the the things that's connected within it. Okay, so I'll be trying to turn off the electric fan. that maybe I should make it louder oh I mean sorry so I mean that I when you remove some fan of the socket so let's do it again removing socket so as you can hear the clicking sound so let me increase the volume so that you could hear the see here you can hear that that's from the speakers due to the due to when removing electric fan hear that see it's really bad so let's increase the volume so you could hear hear that clicking sound from the speakers so we don't want that to happen so that is some just normal power strip without surge protector so let's try it with a surge protector I'll now be trying this with the surge protector um, power strip with a surge protector light or noise filter 
Okay, so let me turn this on. And I'll be plugging in the electric fan. Oh, it's not with the circuit, okay? So you hear that. So let's turn on the power amp. Amplifier. So the relay clicked and try to hear if there are any audible noise from the speaker. And you try to click that. So So there is not there's there is no noise, not that much noise other than before, just you know, it's minimal. There's minimal noise, I think. I think. I'm not mistaken. There's minimal noise, I think. I think. Don't mind that. It's a good thing, except it's reduced.